with technology playing such vital role in farming hydroponics farming is a technology that many jamaicans especially the younger jamaicans have been looking into hydroponics is the practice of growing plants using only water nutrients and a growing medium the word hydroponics comes from the root word hydro meaning water and ponox meaning labor this method of gardening does not use soil the earliest example of hydroponics date back to the hanging garden of babylon and the floating gardens of china humans used these techniques thousands of years ago although the general theory behind hydroponics remains the same modern technology has enabled us to grow plants faster stronger and healthier the earliest modern reference to hydroponics last 100 years was a man named William Hendricks Garrick. While working at the University of California, Berkeley, he began to popularize the idea that plants could be grown in a solution of nutrients and water instead of soil. A country such as Israel is very big on hydroponic farming. However, Jamaicans are buying into the idea. Former Jamaican athlete Ricardo Chambers, who is a hydroponic farmer in Spurtree Hill, Manchester, was the first hydroponic farmer I interviewed in Jamaica. My younger brother Radney is now trying out the technology and today he's going to share with us what he has been learning using hydroponic farming technique. Welcome back to Shan Unique Vlogs JA. This is the vlog channel for Shan Zen Zen Jamaican Vibes. And this is a prototype hydroponic system. It is, um, it was set up by my brother here, the engineer, the mind behind all of this. Of course, he was inspired um, by Ricardo Chambers from Chambers Hydroponics in Spurtree, Manchester. Yes, this is my brother Rodney. Rodney, explain the system that you have going on here. Yeah, well, as you can see, this is my little hydroponic system. And basically, what hydroponic is, is hydroponic is growing plants without soil. You can see I have um, iceberg, right. lettuce, yeah. iceberg, iceberg. You can see it, you can see them start rolling. Um, these lettuce are about three, three, uh, three to almost three and a half weeks. Almost three and a half weeks. So mm. You can see the quality. It's very green and very, so it grows basically from water. Yes, and the nutrients. Oh, the nutrients. All necessary nutrients that the plants need are mixed in this, this tank here okay. with the water so um, because he doesn't have a tank what he did was to use this barrel this drum as yeah. a the reservoir the reservoir and, and then you set up what you have running in yeah basically hydroponics now you use current yes uh, this system is called NFT nutrient mm -hmm. film technique mm -hmm. yeah so basically what I use I have a small 30 watt submersible pump. Mm -hmm. It is submerged in the water tank. Right. Yeah. So this is a continuous, continuous pump. So this runs right through right. and supply the plants with water. A nutrient. And nutrient. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a circulatory system. Yes. Yeah. This white pipe that you see. Yeah. It brings the water one in the pipe okay. and then the water comes right back down right. collects and recycle oh and go back into the drum into the drum so it's a continuous cycle right so you don't have to you you would um save on water because you have the same water you recycling basically yes, yes. Right. um since i've started this i've used about three of this full of water oh, okay. just about three right are a little less than three somewhere okay. about there okay so 
it's very conservative on water. Right here I have 120 plants. Oh, it's 120? Yes, 120. And it's planted vertically? Yes. It's planted vertically, but you still haven't put up any undine. You still have space no, for more? No, because the 30 watt pump no, no allow me to go so high. Right. Yeah, but it's... Oh, so you would so want a bigger pump system yes, to go yes. higher? Yes, I have a bigger pump system, but it's not installed as it. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. This is just a prototype to see yes. how it works. Romaine lettuce, but um, I see, what is this, cucumber? Yes. You're trying different crops, callaloo? This is this is a hot pepper scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet. And this is a sweet pepper. And this this over here is uh, pop choy. Okay. These are overgrown. We should have harvested a good while ago, so. Okay. Yeah. And what's this cabbage at the end here? Um, this was broccoli. Oh, broccoli. Yeah. So you're trying to okay. see it's how. This is for alka damage, so. Because the I made a mistake and plug out the pump. Oh. So and by the time I realized everything had quailed down. But as you can see the lettuce come right back up. Yes. The color low every other thing. But these were the main ones that got damaged. Right. And you said this the is broccoli. a 30 watt is a 30 watt um pump? Yes. 30 so watt. it it doesn't cost the in terms of electricity. It doesn't burn a lot of electricity. No, no, it doesn't burn a lot of electricity. This is the line that feeds the water to the system. Yes. And they have the branch after each pipe. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, you pull out this tube, you can see the water. Yes, yes. Running. So that that's what feeds the plant. Yeah, that's what feeds the plant. Yeah. And 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 most young people nowadays. Most of the young people, they don't really want to get into the dirty farming as they would call it. So this is a good way of, a non-traditional way of farming, of growing crops and still being able to sustain the crop, make an income from farming. Yeah, so far I've been running the system, I haven't sprayed it, not at all. Right. Yeah, it's just growing like that. It's very beautiful. I don't really very see Very green, insect. very healthy. Yeah. No insect? No, I don't really see any insect. Okay. Of such. So they grow in these? Mesh. It's mesh? Yeah, it's mesh. Okay. I was trying the plastic cup, but I was trying but it's not working. So I'm coming up with a smart idea. Yeah. And I'm building some net cups. Oh, so you build them? Oh, you're trying them out now? Oh, yeah, it's just not, this is not finishing, it's not complete. I have okay. to put the bottom in. Okay. So it's just the bottom leaf and then it's completed. Oh, so you're making it yourself? Yes, because these yeah. are more sturdy. Yes. They stay in the pipe more firmly. Right. So the plants don't turn. Yes. And yes. fall over. As you can see, the plants don't fall over. Right, right. It's so not falling over. Because they're in the mesh. Yes, sir. These new ones. I hope so, but keep them firm and steady. Yes, yes. And these are made from plastic pipes. Yeah. Right. So that's hydroponics farming in Jamaica. My brother Rodney, most of you know him, he's, he's famous on the internet <laughs> for the little um, the bicycle that he made, the trike. The trike, yes. Yeah. And this is what where he's at now. He said this is a prototype, but so far it's going good. If you're afraid to get your hands dirty, hydroponics and vertical farming is the ideal way for you to get maximum yield from a small space. So what you would plant on a two acre land or an acre land, you can actually use a square or two squares and get the same amount of yield thank you for watching i hope this video was educational if you haven't subscribed as yet remember to subscribe like and share